The body of a multicellular organism is a complex and organized system made up of specialized cells. Cells with the same function come together to form tissues, of which there are four main categories, muscle, nervous, epithelial, and connective tissues. Let's take a closer look at each one of these in turn. Muscle tissue is responsible for body movement as well as moving substances through the body. The three types of muscle tissue, smooth, skeletal, and cardiac. Smooth muscle tissue is commonly found in the inner lining of organs. The contraction of smooth muscle is involuntary, meaning you don't need to think about making these muscles contract. Contraction of smooth muscle helps move blood through blood vessels and food through the intestines. The cells are elongated with pointed ends and a single nucleus. Skeletal muscle tissue is attached to the bones of an animal's skeleton. The contraction of skeletal muscle is voluntary, meaning you can control these contractions consciously. Skeletal muscle moves the bones to which the muscles are attached. For example, the muscle of a human's upper arm is the bicep, contraction of which moves the forearm toward the upper arm. The cells are cylindrical in shape, with repeating dark and light bands and multiple nuclei. Cardiac muscle tissue is found in the walls of the heart. The contraction of cardiac muscle is involuntary, and it allows the heart to pump blood through the body. The cells are branching with alternating light and dark bands and one nucleus. Nervous tissue is responsible for receiving and transmitting information throughout the body. Nervous tissue is made of neurons, which are cells that receive and transmit impulses. Collectively, these cells form the nervous system. Nervous tissue forms the structure of the brain and network of nerves throughout the body, and it tells the body how to respond to various external or internal stimuli. For example, when an animal hears a noise, this information is transmitted to its brain as a type of signal. The brain receives the signal and tells the body how to respond. Epithelial tissue covers the surface of the body and various internal organs as well as lining body cavities. It consists of layers formed from cells packed tightly together in sheets. This tissue provides a barrier between the organ and its surrounding environment. For example, the skin is a type of epithelial tissue that protects the interior of the body from the environment. Finally, connective tissue is made of many different cell types that can be either densely or loosely packed together. But collectively, they provide structure and support for the body. Examples of connective tissues are bone, fat, cartilage, and blood.